Guarantees, warranties, yeah, they're good. If we know how they work and honor them so as not to void the guarantee or void the warranty. I think there are very few of us who would not really want to have a guarantee of entering into the kingdom of God at that time when eternity will dawn for each of us. Guarantee? You bet. That'd be awesome. In today's gospel, once again, the fun-loving Pharisees continue to ignore the words of Jesus and his mission. Instead, they focus only on their own agendas, continually trying to undermine Jesus and turn people away from him. Seems that the politicians in the time of the Lord are no different from the ones that have been experienced from generation to generation. They constantly remind us that there are no guarantees in life, really. Well, maybe death and taxes. That's all we can guarantee. What about the guarantee for eternal life? Is there one? Yes. Yes, there is. The Lord is clear about this guarantee in today's gospel. Whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. But we have to always be aware of the fine print in this guarantee, the kind of eternal life that we will enter into is truly up to us. All who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. The guarantee is there, and it's very clear. It's simple to understand. We have to understand and read the fine print in the Gospels. The words of the Lord Jesus Christ. Those are the fine print. That is how we make the right choices. And on that day, because we have done and lived a life that example and it gives the example of Christ that reflects his love and compassion, all that he said, did, and taught. We understand the fine print, then we will see the resurrection to eternal life. That is the guarantee, but let us do our best not to void it. <laughs>